Welcome everyone. Welcome to Breath of Life Discipleship. That is B O L D, bold That's Breath right. of Life That's Discipleship right. That's right. for Wednesday, January the 10th. We are so grateful that you decided to join us on tonight. It's not too late for you That's to right. text a That's friend right. and right. say, listen, you don't want to miss the word. Yahweh is moving by his spirit over at Breath of Life International Ministries. There's the power of the Holy Spirit, the glory of the Holy Spirit, his power, his resurrection power, his glorious power, That's right. his moving, his healing yes, power, yes, yes, his yes. saving power, his delivering power, all of that. Yahweh has blessed us and favored us to have his power. That's Amen. Right. Through the Amen. blood of Yeshua. Amen. So again, we welcome you to both for January 10th, 2024 on the Gregorian calendar. Right. We are getting ready to enter into the 11th month of the biblical calendar. You That's do right. not want That's to miss right. Kodesh Conversations this Saturday where we'll be going forth and to understand what is Yahweh saying for this time. Listen, I already know I don't have to say I'm not sure about you. Yeah. I know you want to know during these days and times what Yahweh is speaking. And one of the ways you could do that is by joining us for Kodesh Conversations. Do you know it's scriptural yeah. to hear prophetically what the Father is saying over your times and seasons? It is prophetic. It is apostolic. All of those things, it's all That's biblical right. Right. for That's you to right. hear what Yahweh is saying. So join us on Saturday for uh, Kodesh Conversations, but tonight you're in for uh, an amazing, blessed, and uh, the word is blessed all by itself, but That's praise right. Yahweh for the word that will be going forth from our own uh, apostle, amen? Hold all on. right, so. Because you're going you gonna to do that again and you're going to. Okay, all right, all right, so come on, let's go to the Father in prayer, everybody. Father, we thank you and we praise you, you. We love you. We adore you. Thank you for another opportunity to gather with your people, with your sons and your daughters around the word. Father, we thank you, thank Father, you, Father, for each person who's joined on tonight. We pray, Father, anything we've said, we've done, we thought, we even imagined that does not bring glory and honor to your name, that is a displeasure to you. Father, we repent and we thank return you, to you, Father. Your word declares something so powerful that if we return to you, you will return to us. And That's so, right. Father, uh, returning to you is powerful. But you yes, returning Father. to us is amazing. It's That's incredible. Right. It's right. miraculous. It's a promise that we are so grateful for. And so, Father, tonight we repent and we return to yes, you, Yahweh. Father. And we pray that you would, Father, not, we don't just say have your way. We don't cry out for you That's to right. have That's your right. way. You're always looking to have your way. But rather, we, we sit in a posture of, Father, we yield to your way. We yield to your plan. Yes, we yield to your desire. We yield to, Father, what you want to do in our lives. Yes, we Father. yield to what it is you want to release unto us. We yield to how you want to heal us. We yes, yield to how you want to save us and deliver us. We yield, Father, for the light that you have promised us, Father. And Father, we pray unapologetically that if we're not on the track that you've called for in these last and evil days, Father, lead us, guide us to yes, your Father. path, Father. Let us be on the path of righteousness, Father. Let us be on the path of right standing yes, with Father. you, Father, yes, in Father. the name of Yeshua. Yes, I Father. pray for every person, Father. I renounce and denounce pride, Father, yes, where we think we got it all together, Father. No, we don't. Father, give us to get in your presence and repent yes, and get Father. in alignment with who you say we are in the earth father. Yes, father give us not to be prideful give us not to father look for uh issues with others but father let us turn it's a time for us yes, to for yes, introspection father. for us to ask you to search our hearts and know our thoughts so father tonight that's what we say let this word whatever word that apostles releasing to us tonight father let it search our hearts father yes, let father. it know our thoughts father and Father, when you find the things that we need to align and straighten up with, Father, lead us to your everlasting way, Father, so that we may be pleasing in your sight. We live a life that's pleasing in your sight. Now, Father, if there's anyone amongst us that's dealing with ailments, Father, and challenges in in bodies, in our bodies, we pray you would send your word and heal us and deliver us from destruction. 
By the stripes of Yeshua, we are healed. Healing is the children's bread, Father. And we thank you that you thank restore you, us unto health and you heal all of our wounds. These, these are the things we set our minds to, the things that are lovely and of a good report, Father. We think on your word and what you have promised us. Now, Father, as we go into the word, give us, Father, to be yielded vessels, to hear what you have to yes, say Father. through the ears that you have given us to hear what the spirit of Yah is saying to his gathering, to his kahal. We thank you, we praise you. We pray you bless, Father, our instructor tonight and use him for your glory. It is indeed in the matchless, the holy, the unbeatable name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Praise Yahweh forever and ever. Yes. We're going to jump right into our communications. Make sure you're making note of these dates, of these times, and what is happening. There's lots going on at Breath of Life International Ministries for the glory and honor of Yah, and you do not want to miss it. That's right. At this time, we're going to turn it over to Minister Samuel as she gives us the communications for today. Amen. Minister Samuel. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Shalom, everyone. Good Shalom. evening. Good evening. Please join us for prayer each and every Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. As it's already been expressed, we are on Zoom. And so this is a great opportunity to invite your family and friends to join us on Zoom. And so on the Tuesday, this past Tuesday, the Dandy Nation prayed that we reflect Yahweh in all that we do and that we choose the path that is in alignment with his word and his plans for our life. And so what a powerful prayer. And each and every Tuesday, we receive such great prayers and instructions as we are working out, working out and walking out this section of working the works, right? And so continue to invite people to join us on Tuesday for prayer at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is not a closed prayer and so all are welcome to attend. And if you are having any issues accessing the prayer or the recording, please email info at bolem.info. We'll be happy to make sure you get what you need. And next, we also have a Thursday prayer coming up for our monthly prayer, Thursday, January 18th. We will be praying out the 11th month, as Prophet has said, and this is the time to hear what Yahweh says for his biblical calendar, not man's calendar and so next thursday we'll be praying at 7 30 p.m central standard time for the 11th month this is also on zoom the same information as our tuesday morning prayer so you should already have it saved and you can easily share it with someone so they can join and hear what yahweh has to say as we go forward into the biblical new year and next, you are invited to join Teacher Carol Patterson each and every night at midnight for the Worshiping Word Warrior Prayer Watch. This powerful ministry meets at 12 a.m. midnight Central Standard Time, and the dial-in number is on the slide. Teacher Patterson and those who join are continuing to press into Yahweh's Word each and every night, and all are welcome to participate. And next, you are invited to connect and donate to SOWER, which stands for Strangers, Orphans, Widows, and Emergency Relief. Elder Daphne Mitchell is the visionary of SOWER, and this powerful ministry reaches out to the homeless in the Houston region and beyond. You are invited to reach out to volunteer, donate, and to learn more. The ways to donate are on the slide. You can donate via PayPal, Zelle, Cash App, or mail your seed. And remember, every seed has the power to produce. And next, we have Rosebud Ministries. Prophetess Patricia Wright is the visionary of Rosebud Ministries, and this powerful ministry focuses on widows and those who have experienced loss in the Houston region and beyond. And Rosebud Ministries is inviting you to join them for Fragrant Fridays, which is the second Friday of every month at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, which will be this Friday, January 12th already, right? So this Friday is the second Friday, and therefore it is Fragrant Friday. And the topic that will be shared is you are a capable woman and that is based on Ruth 311 so this fragrant friday at 6 p.m central standard time we will be talking about you are a capable woman with prophetess right and so again remember fragrant fridays can be viewed live via facebook live on the rosebud ministries facebook page or via the recording on youtube at the rosebud ministries and again save the date for, the, for a live event coming on January 28th at 4 p.m. And this event will be streamed on Rosebook Ministries' Facebook page and on YouTube. 
To learn more or to volunteer, please reach out to Profit is Right. The way is to donate are on the slide. You can donate via Cash App or through PayPal on the website. And remember, Rosebud Ministries, where your fragrance is required. And now back to Prophet Anderson. Hey, man. Thank you so much, Minister Samuel. Appreciate that. Well, you all, please, let's govern ourselves according to what the Father has called us to do in prayer and supporting these awesome ministries. I am coming to you with an amazing communication. Right, no. And that is we are headed to the Grand Cayman. <laughs> so the Women of Life Getaway is set for August 5th through the 11th. We've been talking about this for some time now. But we have set the date and we have the information for you now. Listen, it is sponsored by Women of Life. Women of Life is hosting it. Thankful for our Women of Life coordinator, Minister Marguerite McGee, who has been really uh, walking this out. And we praise Yahweh for Apostle Donna Dandy down in the Grand Cayman Islands, helping us to get everything in alignment. We are going to uh, have an awesome time. Now, listen, we normally the women, we get away uh, by ourselves during this time when the women of life get away. We have uh, been blessed to go to San Antonio. We've gone to Corpus Christi. We've even gone to South Shore Harbor here in the Houston area. Guess what? We've been to Crystal Beach. We have yeah. gotten away for some time with Yahweh and with one another for fellowship. Mm -hmm. But this time, not only will the women be coming, going away, but also we allowing the warriors to also come away with us. Amen. So the warriors <laughs> for life will All also right. be uh, joining us. So it's men and women, 18 years and a plus. And the cost is $3,500 per person. Now, let me tell you what this includes. It includes your round trip airfare from Houston to Grand Cayman. GCM, right, Apostle? GCM is the airport we're flying into. Intercontinental IAH to GCM, Grand Cayman, right? And so um, travel from other locations may incur additional costs. So please, before you book any uh, anything or, or plan for anything, we need to uh, we need to talk first to make sure that if the cost is different, we can let you know that. Lodging it also includes lodging six nights, not at a rundown <laughs> hotel not in an older there are older properties and that's all cool but as apostle dandy would tell you the difference in the cost because it is an expensive place to travel expensive place to live right so um we are going though to a beachfront luxury hotel it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be a relaxing time and then we will also have two group excursions on the island and so and some other things are going to be added to this list but you, the basics these are the basic things that will be uh provided the baseline things the major let's say it like this the most costly things that will be provided uh with your uh fee of thirty five hundred dollars so what's not included in here is your food so please take note of that because we want to be able to give freedom for you to go to places where that you may want to try and everything because remember it's a getaway so everybody say get away get away right? we purposely get didn't away. call it a retreat because when you go to a retreat you're going to be expecting the entire week to be in service to be you know that's what we're going away specifically to be with yahweh and spend time with him well the getaway of the first portion of the week somebody's trying to get one day not calling no names but two days at the beginning of the week we will have we will have time of ministry you will be ministered to you will receive from Yahweh and then the rest of the week is going to be time for you to enjoy the island and for you to have some personal time with Yah of course you can do that and so it's going to be awesome so if you want to be saying Shabbat Shalom man Shabbat Shalom from uh I don't know how I would say it in Grand Cayman I'm gonna learn okay you don't say like Shabbat Shalom I'm saying with my island accent I don't have shabbat an island. Shalom. <laughs> 
Is that the island? Okay, so we're, we're, we're gonna be we're gonna be exactly we're gonna be honoring Shabbat that week from Grand Cayman. It's gonna be an awesome time, and so um, yes, and listen. We will have a beautiful, nice banquet for you. It's included in that fee as well. You get a chance to dress up and look nice and take photos and just just have a wonderful time. And so it's gonna be so awesome, y'all. It's gonna be awesome. We all gonna be, we're gonna be, we call ourselves the Holy Roxy. Gonna pull out those phones. We're gonna have an awesome time, y'all. It's gonna be so awesome. So please plan. Uh, to join us this this is going to be and it's open to you it's open, whether if you're a minister if you're not a minister it's open to you we want to make sure you understand that you are able to come if you want to come and join us and have some time in the Grand Cayman Islands so mm -hmm. more information to come your non-refundable deposit to reserve your spot is due no later than February 15th. You don't have to wait to the 15th, but by February 15th, we will know who is planning, making intention to attend. And y'all, we gotta go from there, okay? We don't want to be at the last minute. We're already in the same year of the trip. And so we have to do some things in a timely manner. We have to have everything done uh, a month prior to our leaving. So we have to have everything aligned and paid off by then. So we can't start in June and say, okay, I'm gonna be done by July. We're starting right away and you're non-refundable. Please read it non-refundable deposit of $500 per person is due by February 15th, all right? Mm -hmm. So please avail yourself, talk with your, your spouse, talk with, you know, uh, maybe you have a sister in Yahweh in the congregation that you're like, hey, I'd like for us to go. And so um, and let's encourage one another to go and have some time to relax. This is one of the things we're gonna to learn to do. Y'all ready for this? We're gonna we're gonna learn to do this. We're gonna we're gonna, re, we're gonna learn how to enjoy life. All right. Okay. Hallelujah. We we're taught a lot of things, but I mm -hmm. promise you, we're not taught to enjoy our lives. It's a it's as a vapor, as the scripture says, and we need to enjoy it. So come on to the Grand Cayman and let's enjoy different scenery. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. Yes, it's gonna be awesome. We look to see you in Grand Cayman. And listen, one more announcement. I am so excited about this announcement. We are gearing up for our MAM T next month. If you attended the last one, you've already received your invitation. We wanted to give first preference to those who attended the last time. And so we're asking for those of you who want to attend, it is February, Sunday, February 11th from 3 to 6 p.m. at the uh, Bolim, in the Bolim Unity Room. It's gonna be an amazing time. Uh, experience some elegance, fellowship, and tea time with the King of Kings and with one another. Women and girls of all ages are welcome. The queens and the princesses will be gathering, darling, and it's going to be amazing. We're gonna have an amazing time of fellowship. Listen, you know, when people be saying, oh, space is limited and seating is limited. No, seating is limited, y'all. And I've committed to the team that when it's first come, first serve, is absolutely no, it's complimentary. You come and enjoy yourself. But when we run out of seats, I will not extend it and I will not uh, start adding tables because we have some plans for activities that's gonna require some space. So please, when you get an opportunity, you look at your calendar and say, I'm available, I'd like to come, and I'm bringing another queen with me. I'm bringing a princess with me, my daughter or my, my friends and their daughters, what, what have yeah. you. Register at mamt.eventbrite.com. Again, that's mamt.eventbrite.com. Let's have an amazing time together we are in a time where as women we need to support one another and we need to normalize and have structures of healthy excuse me relationships uh that is patterned and demonstrated to our children to our girls all right mm -hmm. so let it be the norm that they grow up with healthy relationships with other girls and then eventually women all right so we love we love each of you to like join us 
pray for us that Yahweh will use this time for women from everywhere to come together and be as one with Yahweh. Amen. All right. Thank you so much, team. I look forward to seeing you February 11th, y'all. It's coming up just a little bit over a month from now. We'd love to have you. All right. And we'll be talking more about that as we proceed. You can, as I said, go to the Eventbrite site. There is more information for you there. All right, y'all. We've taken enough time. And now it's time for the word. Are y'all ready for the word on tonight? It's coming from none other than the one, the only, (laughs) the best senior pastor in the whole wide universe. Apostle Dr. Albert Anderson. Come on in the seat. Please receive our pastor. <laughs> Yahweh help. Help us, Yahweh. <laughs> well, I, is that the equivalent to what Yeshua would say? I came with my amen. You came with your when amen. he say barely, barely, that's yeah, your barely, barely. That's my barely, barely. Okay, all right. I, got my I don't have to wait for people to, to celebrate me. I'm going to celebrate, celebrate myself. It. Hey, listen, Amen. I'm not mad. And 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 uh, to all the women, all the queens and princes, if you know like I know, you better you better hurry up and RSVP. First come, first serve. I'm not holding seats, y'all. Once 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 this once this information get out past yes. the walls of bowling, yes, you, people are are literally waiting yes. for this tea to happen. So I uh, we always want the the our family. We always want the bowling mites, you know, and those connected to bowling. To be there first, we yes. always we will always bring you the information first before we announce it to the public. But once the pub, once we announce it to the public, or once the public finds out, and they RSVP, we once again we we, we can't uh, there be no more tables added, no, and no more chairs added. Yes. So I you, mean, you'll have to catch us the next round. We'll have another one. Yeah, but... you gotta wait another year. <laughs> no, it, it'll be <laughs> this year. But <laughs> have two in one year. Yeah. That's why we, oh, we made God. it smaller so that we can have more time with oh, the ladies. Wow. Okay, but we, well, we hope you don't wait to the next well, okay, one. Well, okay, well, you know, you know, how it goes, you know. <laughs> and and also with the with the trip to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> now, now, you know, we've been, the men, we've been talking about going, going somewhere camp. else. You know, y'all been traveling all around and now all of a sudden y'all, y'all <laughs> traveling the Grand Cayman. <laughs> And and and, and, and you know, so so I'm grateful that you <laughs> extended the the invitation to the men too. So which means that I'm not going. I should not be the only man going. Amen. From Breath of Life Amen. International Ministries, I'm That's putting that right. out right now. That's right. I talk to each man individually, That's but right. I should not be the only one going. That's but right. I'm going. However, <laughs> however, come. I'm gonna be there. Yes. I, if I, if I take pictures, the I expect the warriors to back me up on this one. Yeah. If I have to take pictures and send them out to everybody, yes. right, I'm gonna be there. So, so you know, the Grand Cayman don't have to worry about it if Apostle Anderson coming. Right. Because he's gonna be there. He gonna be at the G what GCM. GCM. He gonna be That's at the GCM airport in August. <laughs> Amen. And the red carpet will be rolled out. That's right. <laughs> you know. You already as we know. Get it. out the play. You already know. Red it. carpet gonna be rolled out. We can't wait to get there because it's gonna be an awesome time. Yes. Amen. So we want we thank Yahweh for all that he's done. I pray that you all have had an awesome day on today. Amen. For you, we all know this is the day that all y'all has made. That we're going to rejoice. Yes. And be, and be glad, glad in it. it. Amen. As we Amen. go forth into the word. We're going to say a word of prayer. Yes. Father, we thank you and we praise you. We magnify you already for what you've done, for bringing us together as a corporate body virtually. Yes. Bringing us together as a corporate body virtually, Father. You And Father, we know that the enemy is trying to rule the airways. But Father, you are King of kings and Lord of lords. Yes, you are. That this, 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 as we are gathered here corporately and virtually, that your will be done in us and through us and that this word will be will edify you first and foremost that this word will lift you up because you're worthy to be praised and you're worthy to be adored father we thank you and we praise you right now let the words of my mouth and meditation my heart be accepted and i say for you are yes. my strength and my redeemer and you i live and move and have my being yes. we thank you in yeshua's mighty holy awesome name amen and amen amen all amen. right all right as we Praise go forth God today works. we're still working the works working the works as you see the the, the 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 over our heads here i said i must work the works and, yes. and we are okay 
Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. This is this is part 22. Now for 22 sessions, 22 Ooh. messages. 22 me I mean you should you should be ready. You should be excited. I'm excited. You should be I mean filled with the power of the most high to work the works of him that sent you while this day you are here for a reason do you know yes. each and every one of you are here for a reason do y'all know that my do you, do you realize you're here you're not just here to work and pay bills and, and work and pay bills come on apostle Anderson. you are here for a reason you my are here yeah. to work i don't care how you will how you got here it, it really makes no difference how you got here the fact of the matter is you are here come on and because you are here you know, this is something that you, and we're often trying to figure out, well, what is our, what is, what are we here for? Yes. Well, we're yes. here to work the works of him that sent us while this day. Once again, this is, this is our, our 20, this is part 22. So for 22 uh, messages, you've been hearing about working the works of him that sent that I must work the works. 22. Yes. And, 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 and for 22 sessions plus, You've heard about being capable, being worthy, yes. and being amazing. You've heard these things. Come and on. I pray that I don't care what comes up in your life. I don't care what happens in your life. Come that on, you Apostle. know that that the foundation of who you are. Yes, sir. The, at, at the core of who you are, mm -hmm. you are capable. You Come are on. worthy. You're amazing to do the work that you have been called to do. Yes, you sir. are capable. You are worthy. You are amazing to do the work that you were called. Now you have to understand that each time anybody come before you in Breath of Life International Ministries, we're here to equip you, to come empower on. you, and to impact you. Because you are equipped, that empowers you to go into the earth, to, to the earth realm, to go into the world, to go out and about. A man teaching and preaching and saying what thus says Yahweh, a man that you are capable of doing that. You're worthy yes. of doing that. And so by you being amazing and capable and worthy, you will impact the world yes. in a greater way. Yes, sir. Come you on, will apostle. bring people out of darkness into this his, his marvelous and uh, illustrious light. You will bring him into the illumination that that his word is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. Yes, Amen. Even when you don't know how, where to go or what to do, it the word will be a lamp unto your feet. Yes, it will. And be. it will be a light. And because it's lighting up the path, you know where to go. You won't get lost. That's right. Amen. Because you won't get lost. You won't have others to get lost as long as you are in his word doing his will and his way so with that being said we know we, we for 22 plus sessions you've heard J uh, jeremiah 29 11 you're gonna hear it some more because this has to be really rooted and grounded into your dna yes, this word indeed. have to be literally in your dna that you know that that yahweh is planning something for you yes. that that he declares that that he he has plans of peace he has plans yes. of shalom yes. he has plans and, and and these plans are not of evil so that's he right. has plans of peace and not of evil to give you give you to give you that's yeah, something yeah. that he's not trying to take something from All you right, he's apostle. trying to give you a future yes. and an expectancy yes, now sir. this is this is why you are working the works of him that sent you he sent you here My, he, yeah. he brought you here for a reason yeah. And he's telling you, I got plans for you. I got, I got plans. But, but you can't sit up there and, and usurp my plans. You can't do it your way. He, he say that this is not a, a fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. You can't have it your way. All right. You know what I'm saying? He, he has the way for you. So you can't just say, well, I, I understand. You said go go this way, but I think I want to go. Well, you no, if no, you no. go that way, you are not being covered. He will not cover if you go outside of his will and his way. And then that means that, you know, if you're uncovered, that means that anything can touch you. Anything uh -oh. can can happen. Anything can happen. And so you want to always stay in his will yes, and in his way. Thank and you, as Father. we go forward, we are literally talking about John 9 and 4. John 9 mm -hmm. and 4, it says, it is necessary for me to work it's the work. It's necessary. It's you necessary. You know, it's something that he starts this verse off with. Necessary. It is necessary, which means that it is very important. It's necessary. This not is not optional. this is not an option. This is not something you haphazardly do. Come on. He says it is necessary. necessary. You've been here for 22 messages that it is necessary 
for me to work the works of him who sent me while this day. Y'all, I'm telling you, if you would, you ain't got to, I mean, you look at the news, you look at all the stuff that's going around, that's going on around in the world, you're looking that night is coming. Night is coming. And night is closer than what we thought. Yeah. It's closer than where it was 51 years ago for me. Come night on. is coming yes. when no one is able to work and we can't there's no excuse he mm-hmm. right now he's saying you don't have any excuse mm-hmm. to work my works you mm-hmm. don't have any i don't care how you were brought up i don't care the things that happened to he can't because he's trying to bring you out of out of the darkness of those things that are trying to keep you in bondage into his marvelous life so he said look you, you've gone through the gym, you've gone through all these things to build up your faith. You've heard the messages. We are putting you in a place to win. Yahweh is saying you, it's necessary for you to work the works of, you, of him that sent you while this day. He's putting you in the position to win. Yes. Not only in this earth realm, but mm-hmm. in the eternal realm, because you know that that heaven and earth, all this stuff is going to pass away mm-hmm. and the new Jerusalem will come down as stated in, in Revelation. But the thing is, you have to do the works here. What you do here mm-hmm. determines what happens there. Come if on, you're awesome. even able to, to be around the throne to sing holy, 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 My or God. will he My say, God. you know what, you spent all this time, you didn't prophesy, you didn't sit up there and cast, you cast it out, you cast out demons, My God. and God other God. people, you set other people free, and you still bound. God help us. You set other people free, you're still bound. And he, then he goes on saying, look here, mm-hmm. this is in Matthew 7, mm-hmm. I, I don't know you. Depart from me, you worker. You lawless person. Lawless person. You, you don't even follow the instructions. You t- you let people sit up there and talk you out of following the instructions Ooh, that has father. literally set you up to win. Uh-oh. People were literally, I mean, I'm telling you, people was because they they see, they don't want you to know more than what they know, or they don't want you to do more than what they do, so they'll set you up to lose. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the thing is, he said, night is coming when no one can work. Now, this is oh, the thing. Wow. This is one of the things that we want to talk about tonight. Uh, we have, I have three things that, that we want to deal with on tonight. So we go to this next slide, you know, and, and some of the stuff we've, you know, a lot of things we, we may have said before, but I'm telling you, Yahweh is really pressing. Yeah. He's pressing these messages now. He's pressing us in this time that we must listen. We must shema him. Yeah. We must listen with the intent intent to obey. Now, one of the things we want to talk about is having the right attitude and the right motives when working the works. Come on, Apostle. Why you say that, Apostle? Because a lot of times people don't have the right attitude. Or if they don't have the right attitude, they don't have the right motives. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they, 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 they think they know more than the creator himself. So what they do is they take the very words of the creator and manipulate those words to fit their agenda. Hmm. Ain't that something to fit their agenda? And then, but then they'll say, "Well, they say I'm doing what Yahweh called me to do." But wait, are you really with hmm. the right attitude and the right mode? Come on, let's go to Colossians the third chapter. All right, Colossians the third chapter. We're going to start at verse twenty-two, and we're going to go down to verse twenty-four. From verse twenty-two to verse twenty-four. I'm Come on, probably put your Ooh. prophetic voice on for the people <laughs> and read this prophetic message. Uh, uh, Proverbs, I mean, Colossians, Colossians. the third chapter, okay. verses 22 to verse 24. All right. It says, servant. Hold on. There's a, there's a comma right after that word servant. Yes, sir. Which which means that he's he's Stop. calling us he, within oh. our perspective titles or within our perspective areas of ministry at the core of who we are. Come on. Regardless if we're apostle, prophet, evangelist, teacher, Absolutely. or pastor, mm-hmm. he's saying servants. Servants. Okay, That's go ahead. Good apostle. Servants, oh. obey your masters according to the flesh in all respects, uh-huh. not with all eye service Uh-oh. as men pleasers, Uh-oh. but in sincerity of heart. Oh, my, your prophetess. Uh-huh. Would you read that one more time? Okay. That's, that's verse 22. We're going to get to the other verse. Would you read yes. verse 22 one more time? Servants, uh-huh. obey your masters according to the flesh in all respects. Uh-huh. Not with eye service. Not with eye service. As men pleasers. Uh-huh. But in sincerity of heart. 
fearing Elohim. Fearing. This is the thing, because a lot of times when we're working the work, we're trying to please man instead of pleasing Yahweh. Help us, help us, help us. We're trying to please man. We're, and, and a lot of times, man, don't they're not paying no attention to you. And you trying to do all this stuff to please man. Mm -hmm. But the works you're supposed to be working is according to the works that Yahweh has put you here to work. That's right. So he's saying, look, don't in, in all respect, you know, don't don't work according to your flesh. Come you on. know, don't try to work to please man. Uh -huh. But this but in sincerity, you have to have a sincerity of heart. How is the sincerity of heart that you please Yahweh in the work that you do? That's right. Because people will sit up there once again, they'll make up their own narrative mm -hmm. about the work. Mm -hmm. And that ain't what Yahweh said. Mm -hmm. They'll break fellowship. They'll break fellowship. They'll do all these things because they don't have the right attitude. And then they think that they become so common and familiar with man until they try to they try to please man instead of pleasing Yahweh. Verse twenty three says, "And, and what? Go ahead. And whatever you do, uh huh, do it heartily. Wait, wait, wait. And whatever you do to Yahweh." Because let me tell you something. If you do the right works, if you do everything according to Yahweh, we're going to be pleased. Yes. We're going to be pleased because yes. we know that you're pleasing Yahweh. Yes. Because when it's all said and done, there's no place in eternity where we can put you. That's right. Right. Only he can do that. Only yeah. But the thing is, while we're here, we have to make sure that whatever we do, we do it hard. In other words, you can't get burnt out. That's right. Working for the men. We can't get burnt out working, do, doing the works of Yahweh. Because if you get burnt out, you're not doing the works of Yahweh. You, 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 you're being something else is going on. And, and then you get you get tired. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, you know, the, the Yahweh have you doing. All of a sudden you want to take a, a vacation from the church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a vacation from the church because you, you, you do these things and your part and all this stuff is not in, in right. It's not lined up according to what Yahweh said. Yes. So, so and, let me let me finish that. It okay. says that whatever you do, do it hardly as to the master and not, not to men. men. He keep reiterating this mm -hmm. thing because you have to have the right attitude and you have to have the right motives when working the works. What's yes. twenty four say, honey? Knowing that from the master, capital M, you shall receive the reward of the inheritance. Uh huh. It is the master Messiah. Okay. You serve. Oh my God. I, I could really just end it right there. Right. I mean, as far as the whole message is concerned. Yes. Be because because if we're not having the right attitude and we're not having the right motive, we lose inheritance. We lose an inheritance. That's right. That's right. And, and it's like people, they complain, we've been doing this and we've been doing that, but we don't see the, the works. We don't see it coming to pass. You know why? Attitude. Check your attitude. Check your motive. Check your motives. Why mm -hmm. are you doing it? Mm -hmm. Why? You know, mm -hmm. and it's uh, and I praise Yahweh that people would try to please us, but don't please Yahweh. Please Make sure Yahweh. your heart is in mm -hmm. Yahweh. So, uh, so uh, go ahead. Apostle, may I say go something? Go ahead. Because this scripture always struck me and because as much as we teach against the flesh mm -hmm. that scripture apostle paul says mm -hmm. in verse 22 to obey your masters according to the flesh uh -huh. so just to clarify yeah yeah so that we're not confused when we walk away we, i don't want you to get stuck there yeah, or stagnant yeah, 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 yeah. because when apostle keeps moving you say wait that scripture says to do it according to the flesh Flesh in this particular case mm -hmm. is, uh, let me tell you what it is. It's G4561. <laughs> Come on, prophet. Sarks. Yes. S A R X. Yes, yes. It has to do with your natural body. Okay. It is the flesh, the, subs the soft substance of the living body, which covers the bones uh -huh. and is permeated with blood mm -hmm. of both man and beast, it says. Yes, but yes. if you read this, it is talking about the natural body. That's right. This is an important point That's that right. Apostle That's Paul right. is making. That's because right. for those who say, I'm waiting on Yah. Yeah. I'm waiting on Yah. I'm just gonna wait on Yah. Yeah. And I'm yeah. gonna I am i am do I'm gonna do I, I'm just gonna be over here praying. Father is saying that I'm y'all. I'm a prayer warrior. I'm an intercessor. That's right. We I'm are. a prophet. Yes, I'm a, we are. Mm -hmm. We're seers. All of those things that Yahweh has called us to do, 
But the, the fact of the matter is, or I should say, and the fact of the matter is that after we pray, we got to get up and serve. That's right. We got to. We got to get up and serve with yeah. these natural yeah. bodies. That's right. This That's is right. what Apostle Paul is saying, that we can't just stay in the place of the spirit where then we don't use what we have learned in the spirit to actually work the works in the flesh you can't step there and sit on the couch all day every day yes and and just really expect the work to get done it's almost like you got a you got a, a, a sink full of dishes right mm -hmm. well if you're sitting on the couch all day watching tv the dishes will never get done you have to physically get up yes go to the yes. sink you have to put the, the, the soap in the water and you yes. have to draw the water to wash the dishes exactly it won't you the dishes will not wash themselves yes you know, so you have, in other words, when you talk about the, you know, the obey your master according to the flesh and all respect, make sure works. you're getting up the doing what you are works. called to do. You, yes. it's, it's not going to work. You just sitting there. Well, I wonder how them dishes going to get wet. Right. I wonder who's going to wash them dishes. Right. I wonder if I just do the, if I think them dishes clean, it's going to get clean. No, yes. you have to get up physically and go and watch this is what the, this is what yes. he said but then when you watch then you just like if Yahweh call you to wash the dishes don't sit up there and do wash it trying it to please all us all your, your might yeah it you do it according to him because a lot of times there you know I'm just so tired I'm just I, I, what, what I've been I've been doing this all day and, and, and then you getting up you have what you got to eat out those plates Amen. and you I'm have awesome. washing them dishes Indiana Which Bible. means that this breeds other insects and all these other things to come in because there's still food on the dish. So, so now he's saying, look, you know, when you do it, do it with all your heart, do it with everything that I've given you, because now you're not trying to please man. You're trying to please me when it comes to the works that he's called you to. Amen. And apostle with that, maybe you are doing things. This, this is y'all. I had a whole meeting today that was about are we doing the right things yeah that's what the meeting when i look underneath uh -huh. so to hear you teach this tonight i'm like yeah. father i was in a meeting today are we doing the right things because most people instinctively i just believe as believers we might have have some lackadaisical times or moments yeah. in our lives or whatever but as it were i believe that we desire to work hard mm -hmm. for the kingdom and work yeah. hard for yahweh and so if you are doing things are you doing the right things yes. the things that yahweh i found myself burnt out because as apostle said earlier i wasn't doing the right things yeah. i was doing some things yeah but you have to check it with the master and see with the capital M and find out, am I doing the right things yeah. to bring forth your glory That's in the right. kingdom to usher your glory in? So I just and, wanted to and, encourage and, and, and probably the let me saints. tell you, because a lot of times we get too familiar. Yes. Because we felt yes. like we've done it before or we've yes. seen it before yes. or this, that, and that. We get too familiar. Yes. And so we don't put I read that all. scripture before. Yeah. You mean yeah. to tell me there's more revelation yeah. from Jeremiah 29? Yeah. Do y'all realize that I read, Apostle, you realize I read that scripture how many times? Yeah. And I was, how many, just a few years ago yeah. in my 52 years that I, that I found out that that scripture says, yeah. I know the plans I am planning. Yeah that all these years i thought the plans were in the past and if if i missed it at 20 years old maybe i just missed yahweh didn't know he yeah. was still making plans for me that's right come on y'all yeah that's right yahweh's that's right. word is always birthing revelation that's right and so we can't be like well i read that scripture 10 times i read it 25 times i mm -hmm. read it we have to keep on you know what i'm saying and get so, that excitement in this thing because if we read it in in our natural yes, mind that's the thing and not yep. allowing the holy spirit to give us the revelation yes sir. we begin to familiarize it and then yes. it, we begin to short change the revelation yes that yahweh wants to bring us to in 2024. that's right <laughs> so so Amen. the thing is you know we don't want to just get to the point to where our motives are not pure mm -hmm. even when it comes down to you we i mean we're, we're doing we've read this and we 22 times we talked about working come on come on about and i'm quite sure we've mentioned about having the right attitude or just having the yes. right move somewhere. somewhere but yet he's saying right now and he's bringing these scriptures now yes. to our 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 our, our face and saying look well you know you, you're gonna be tempted you're gonna you're gonna want to work but you can't do it to to for to please man 
Mm-mm. You can't do it can't because do it. we we want to because man is in our face and man is all around us. Yes. But the thing is, you know, and and are we really pleasing Yahweh? Are we Come pleasing on, the Master apostle. when we're doing the works? And and then we try to figure out, well, why is not this not happening? Why Come that's on. not happening? Or why is it not happening quick enough? And and mm-hmm. Yahweh may be just once again. He said he got the plans for you, but yes. then you alter the plans when you start doing things your way. All in other right. ways you're 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 not you're not trying to uh, basically please him you, mm-hmm. you're thinking mm-hmm. that your reward comes from man your reward does not come from it man in this issue man. in this time and with dealing yes. with these these scriptures yes. so, so so we're always tempted to work i mean just as hard as we have to thinking that we only have to please man no no we're here to please yahweh, yahweh. but 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 yahweh he really wants us uh, to to he wants us he wants every worker. That's yes. the thing. Yahweh wants every worker uh, to see the ultimate that that they working for him, and that therefore they should do it heartily because they're working for him, mm-hmm. and 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 then that he has a promise. Yah has a yes, promise to reward those who work with that kind of heart. That's Amen. Awesome. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Yahweh's faithful. I'm telling yes. you. If we do what He's called us to do, I'm telling you, there's so much that yes. that He has for us. But if if we keep on trying to manipulate the time, manipulate the scripture, I'm you know, good. all of a sudden, you know, we're we're not. We don't find when we come together. Even when we come together in the DTC, that should be strength. Yeah. When you come in there, My that God should today. be fire. When yes, you come sir. into the DTC, My I don't care God. who it is. So the thing is, he's saying if, if this if this is to happen, when you miss, you gonna miss the strength, and you go okay. So they didn't have uh, internet in the time of Yeshua. They mm-hmm. didn't have the internet in the time of Paul. So mm-hmm. you know, some people think, well, I don't have to come, and then I just I just look at it on on the internet. No, it does it doesn't work. Really, he set the internet for the sick and shut in for those that are around the country who can't around be the around the globe mm-hmm. that can't be in the DTC. Yes, that's true. Apostle. So. So, so this is why you have to have the right attitude and the right motives. Amen. Yes. So let's go to this to the next slide. Amen. We'll talk about that some more when we have our question and answer. Work to please Yahweh and not yes. man. We just talked yes. about this. Uh, let's yes. go to Ephesians 6. Mm-hmm. Amen. Ephesians 6, and we're going to read uh, verses 6 and 7. Yes, sir. I'm on the case. I'm on the case. All right, prophets, you on the case. Ephesians 6. Oh, yeah. yeah. Verses 6 and 7. Can, can I start with five? Yeah, go ahead and okay. start with five. I don't know, it's all good. Wait. I thought so. This way. Ephesians 6. Yeah, I'm in the right place, right? Yeah, you're in the right place. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Ephesians 6. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So I'll start at verse five. Apostle says it's okay to start at verse five <laughs> because it's going to sound familiar to you. Yeah. Yeah. Servants comma mm-hmm. obey your masters according to the flesh the human body mm-hmm. with fear and trembling yes in sincerity of heart as to messiah uh-huh. not with our service oh not as with our men service. pleasers uh-huh. but as servants uh-huh. of messiah uh-huh. doing listen y'all this is so good doing the desire of elohim from the inner self, that inner man, yeah, rendering service with pleasure. It's my pleasure. As to the master, capital N, and not to men, knowing that, oh, I'm sorry. Verse six to seven. All That's right, it. okay. That's it. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're gonna stop right there, verse seven. Okay, yeah, we're gonna yes, stop sir. Verse seven. yes, sir. You know, it's, it's it, you know, it talks about not with our service. Come on, Apostle, help Once us Once again, out. not with our service, you know. You know this when you talk about can be rolling my eyes. Huh? Well, not not that. See, this, just, is, <laughs> this this the thing. You know, you, you're working only when the boss is looking. Oh, that's our service. That's our service. Wow. You're only working when we're around. Uh oh. When we're not around, you're not working. Uh oh. So this is why it's important that you know that we iterate reiterate the point that that we're not doing it to be. Men, the men pleasers. 
Come on, Apostle. You know, you know, as 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 men pleasers, though those who only care about pleasing man, that's what uh -huh. basically men pleasers. But but with but with goodwill, you you have you have a, a good attitude, and you're not complaining. All right, you know what I'm saying. Right. But but you, but yet you know when it comes down to doing the service, you know to it's the, the service to Yahweh and not to man. Yes, it is. You know, the thing is, yeah. you know, you, you it's, it's, we, we, we challenge you and we, we tell you, to, okay, we go out and, and compel mm -hmm. them to come in. We go out and do the works, but mm -hmm. you, but yet when you leave the sanctuary, there's no work being done. Well, can't do that. And so this is why we, the last Shabbat, we talked about the fruit. That's good. You're going to know the tree. By the fruit it bears. By the fruit it bears. Yes. If the tree is not bearing for even the, the scripture said that if the tree don't bear fruit, it's gonna cut it down and throw it in the fire. Mm -hmm. That's that's what the scripture said. Yeah. I didn't say it. But that's oh, what the scripture said. Yes. But the scripture said. So so the thing is, you can't work the works only when we're around. All right. Or 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 you just looking for us to 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 look at you. Mm -hmm. Look what I'm doing over here. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm over here doing this, that, and the other. And the thing is, it's like Yahweh is saying, look, you, you, it, it verse says, like, not, not with our service not as men pleasers, but Come as on. servants of Messiah. My, my, this my. should be in your heart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This should be in your heart. I believe that uh, everyone should be called to the office of evangelism. Mm -hmm. If every believer. You know, because because with we're all ministers of reconciliation. That means that we we can we we have the the you can redeem people exactly. You know, so so it's not just for you to go around boasting. Mm -hmm. Look, it's like look what I. It's not about the building. It's not about none of these things. Mm -hmm. It's about what are we doing for Yahweh when when the pastor's not around. Yes. Yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we working the works of Yahweh? You know, and, and when nobody else is looking, nobody else is looking. You know, because we, we, these things have to come out. Yeah. Be indeed. Because because if you're only doing it when when the people are looking, you missing the whole point. You missing the whole point. You missed it. You. This is why people they get burnt out doing things mm -hmm. because you know Yahweh said, "Okay, now wait a minute." I thought, but but yeah, you come and say I've been working, I've been working the works. <laughs> Did you saw what I was doing? Did you see me? Did you see what I was? Doing? <laughs> Did you see me? Yeah, we'll we'll come back. Oh yes, eight twenty four. Okay, yes, right. <clears throat> <Let's see. clears throat> as we go to the next slide. All right. Amen. Amen. We gonna we gonna. Yeah, I, I think I'm on. Probably, I think I'm gonna stop here. Okay. Yes, sir. Warning, we, we talk about warning against not working, idleness. Uh, matter of fact, go to Second uh, Thessalonians mm -hmm. uh, chapter 3. All right. Verse and we're going to read verse 10. All right. Mm -hmm. For even when we were with you, uh -huh. we commanded you this. Uh -huh. If anyone does not wish to work, uh -oh. neither let him eat. Uh-oh. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. I mean, if if you've been in Child. anybody's church or if you've been looking at anybody's anybody's uh, oh, teaching. teachings or anything, <laughs> they they come out and say, if you don't work, you don't work, you don't you eat. Don't eat. <laughs> I've been told that as a man. If you yes. don't work, yes. you don't eat. Yes. And and really, it's it's a principle because we're not just talking about the works of man working a, a secular job exactly. or these things we're not just talking about that because if you don't if you really don't work you know you won't have the wherewithal uh, you would have to seek out other means to to eat and things like this but what Yahweh said that he has literally so this is where the inheritance come in all right all right this is where the inheritance come in because here it is you know if you're doing it according to his will uh -huh. and his way then he's going to make sure that he provides everything for you. Yes, sir. But we're, we're here in, in Second Thessalonians, you know, uh, Paul is saying that if anyone would not work, you know, it, 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 not, now this is the thing. Now look at, look at this, look at this. I want you to see this. For even when we were with you, we are commanded uh, you this. If anyone does not work, this, yes. this, that's what the scripture said. It didn't say any, that no one cannot work. Mm. 
it, it that's that's a different connotation there. That's it would take the the scripture in a different direction. Mm-hmm. He he's basically saying that 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 if instead you know if you will not work, yes, you know neither if, shall if you eat. anyone does not wish to work. Anyone does not <laughs> wish. Yeah, it didn't say that you can't work. You can't work because right. some people just won't do it. Right. They right, just right. they'll just they just they'll live either live off others or they just won't do it at all. Right. You know, it, so so Yahweh's plan is to provide yes. for our needs through our work. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right, Uh oh. And we this is this is how the plumbing in the house begins to flow smoothly. Right. Nothing is blocking it. Yes. Nothing is blocking the flow. Nothing is blocking the flow because Yahweh's plan is to provide for our needs. Yes, indeed. Through our work. So, so neither, but the, but the thing is, the scripture said, you know, neither shall he eat, you know, since, since Yahweh is able to provide through our needs in, a, in, in any manner. Any manner. Imaginable. Any mm-hmm. manner imaginable. Uh, it, it really means that, that something that, that he has chosen for the most part, to meet our needs through work. So now, this 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 part this is a part of Yahweh's character, uh-huh. you know, because he is he is a busy Elohim and always at work. He's always at work. Yes, he is. So he's command he's commanding us that that we don't just sit idle. Come on, we don't just, you know, our hands are not doing anything. Mm-hmm. We're not doing anything. But yet, see, this is where that spirit of insanity comes in. Mm-hmm. Because we're expecting him to open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that we won't even have room to receive. But we won't do nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it, it, the thing is, if if Yahweh is, is you, you will follow the instructions of Yahweh, even through tithing and offering, even when you don't come to the building. All right. Apostle. So if you're not at the, that does not, that's, that's, that's not, that does not say that because you're not in the building that you can't, you don't have to tie, you don't know. No, if you are in him, you're going to follow his instructions All right. so that he can open up the windows of heaven All right. All for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so, you know, let's, let's, we, we got to talk about this because too many people, they just think that, well, he's, he is an awesome, yeah. He's yes, a, he's he very is. powerful. He's marvelous. omnipotent. He's marvelous. Yes. He's all these things. All of these things. But yet he's saying, look, you have to work the works mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of, of the one that sent you while it's yes, day. Indeed. If you want to eat, you got to work through, and not yes. just physical food. We talk a spiritual, spiritual too. Spiritual too. We talk a spiritual food. Yes. Because a lot of times, you know, we, we're trying to figure out, well, why is this not that? Because you're not working the works. God will help us. Yeah. And, and, so, and so he's not trying to starve. You, you're making the choice to starve. Mm-hmm. He's not trying to starve you. You're making the choice to starve by not working. That's a whole nother message That's right a there. Whole That's a message. whole nother. Somebody else going to come and preach that. They got, <laughs> we still got a couple more of these sessions to go. <laughs> Yes, we got sir. a couple yes, more of these sir. sessions to go because we, we always said, uh, uh-uh. we got to sit there, dig our shovel yes, because there are too so many good, people Apostle. that are sitting by the wayside, not receiving what he has for them because they are not really working the works that he sent them to work. Yes. They working some work, but it ain't his works. Mm-hmm. Oh my. <laughs> they oh, working my. some words, but it ain't not his work. Not work. And, and, and this is, this is why, you know, he has us to dig our shell because people, yeah, but people, saints of the most high, we got to wake up and do and up. start working the works. Yes, sir. You're right about not, it. Not just inside of Bolin, but outside of Bolin. Outside of Bolin. Amen. Amen. I think I'm going to stop right there. I promise. It's okay. 830. Yeah, yes, it's sir, 830. Let's talk about Come it. on, let's talk about this thing. Let's talk right. about what Yahweh's talked about tonight. Yes, we yeah. pray you were blessed, challenged, yeah. and changed yes, by the yeah. word. Now we're going to open up for discussion, for yes. questions, and even just comments that you want to make about what Father is doing in you. Listen, don't be ashamed to have discussion about this because these are things that Father is pushing us That's and right. saying, look, you've got to work the works, but while you're working the works, you're gonna have to work it with the right attitude, mm-hmm. with the right motives. Uh-huh. It would be a shame for us to do all of this work, saints. And Yahweh says, depart, depart from, from me. me. It, it, yeah. Come on, y'all, that's not an option. Let's work the works, but have the right attitude and the right uh, uh, motives 
behind what we're doing. Let's do it outside of the four walls. Let's let's get up and do what Yahweh has called us to do. So come on, we welcome you at this time to have some discussion. Let, let me let me read. Instructor. I want to read this this okay, passage yes, right here from from Matthew. I want to read this whole passage from Matthew the seventh chapter. Yes, sir. matter of fact, I'm gonna start at twenty one and go to Matthew seven twenty one to twenty three. It says in the scriptures version, not everyone who says to me master master mm -hmm. shall enter into the reign of the heavens but father. he who is doing that means that's action yes but he who is doing the desires of my father yes. in the heavens it ain't about you it's about yes. doing what yahweh has called you to do in the earth realm yes, then father. verse 22 shall, says many shall say to me in that day mm. master master have we not prophesied mm. In your name, because that's a capital Y, it says, it says right there, in your name, and cast out demons. Uh -huh. Can you understand that, you know, you got to have power to cast out demons. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. And, and in your name, he says, and cast name. out demons in your name, and done many mighty works mm -hmm. in your name. Yes, sir. Verse 23 says, and then I shall declare to them, mm. I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work lawlessness. Us, Father. Us, Father. This is why we must, you know, we we you got you have the ma you have the manual. Yes. To 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 do the job. Yes, sir. He didn't provide. He provided you with a manual that starts with Genesis and ends in Revelation. Even stops yes. right there in Malachi. Yes, and starts sir. up, but really, it's 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 it's, it's uh, from Genesis to Revelation. He give he gave you the man, so yeah. there's really no excuse. That's right, Apostle. And the thing is, you know, he's is he, uh, Second Timothy tells us that we have to study. We got to study to show ourselves approved. Yeah, being sir. a workman, a workman. Yes. You got so if you <clears throat> if you're a workman, that sure. means you got to study the manual. That's and right. you have to study the manual the way the Holy Spirit. You can't That's do right. it through these westernized eye, these westernized lenses, because the westernized right. lenses will have you being a lawless worker. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so, indeed. so we we this is why it's important for us. You know, praise Yahweh that He allowed Prophet uh, Apostle Danny to come down and and give that word. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I'll you say. and then you came back and then for twenty two sessions we are telling you that you and you and if you're not understanding, you know, this is the time. Ask the questions. Yes. You know, let's get clarity. Yes, because yes, once again, yes, it's yes. not it's this is not the last session. Yes. This is not the last word yes. on I must work the works. Yes, so yes. come on, let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about it. Talk about it. Yes. Anybody have any questions or any comments? Anything you want to discuss discuss about the uh scriptures that we shared on tonight? Good evening, everyone. Question. Good evening. We are two people. Yeah. We she can go. She she can go ahead. Um, All right. All right. Well, I'll go. Uh, I had a question about uh, 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 Thessalonians. Um, Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians three and ten. Mm -hmm. For even when we were with you, we commanded you this. If anyone does not wish to work, neither let him eat. Now, I always looked at that in the natural, that if you don't work, you don't eat. You don't, I mean, you can't come to my table and sit up in my house all day and not do nothing. And then you expect me to feed you. Mm -hmm. So... On this, that's the natural part of it. Yes. Uh -huh. How do we relate that to the spiritual part of it? I they say the same way. The same the way. Exact same way. So if you're not willing to dig in that word, mm -hmm. you're not going to eat anything different. It's going to be the same soup mm -hmm. warmed over. Yep. If, you, if you say, well, I read Jeremiah 29 and 11 before, and you're not willing to listen at this time, Minister McGee, if we have to lay on our face for hours, for days, for whatever it takes, 
we're going to have to really work and press into this labor is not the same labor as even in times past. Because Father told me, he said, anybody, when they get on their knees, when they get on their faces, they decide, you know what, I better fast and pray about this thing. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to answer them. I'm going to give them. He said, because my word declares that if you desire wisdom, mm -hmm. let him ask. If any man desires, you lack wisdom, he says, actually, that scripture says, if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh who does not upbraid. In other words, he's not like, oh, I'm not going to give you wisdom, but you're going to have to put an effort in to yeah. even understanding the That's word right. of Yah right. for your life. That's right. We can no longer say that I don't know why I'm in the earth. Yeah. Yahweh told me we enter into a time, we better have an answer. You know, the scripture tells us that we need to be able to be ready to have an answer. Mm -hmm. So that when That's people right. say, why do you believe that Yahweh sent you into the earth? We better have an answer. Can I say this? Yeah. Just just as you said, Minister McGee, about a person not but working. Sitting up in the house. But then they want to they wanna come in to the, come and eat at your table. Yahweh sees, just Same think about thing. this spiritually. Yes. You're not willing to do anything spiritually. And so he's not going to force, Yahweh would never force feed you. Yeah, He's going to force you to eat nothing. He's going to force you to do nothing. You have to make the conscious effort yes. to work his works, to read yes. his word, to yes. study his word. And not only do that, you know, because because uh, James is said just don't don't just be a hearer of the word you have That's to be true. a doer of the word mm -hmm. so it's the same really it's the same principle you know if you're not going to work naturally or spiritually you don't expect anything from him you know That's because right. he gives you breath in your body because he's giving you that chance to get it yes, right to indeed. get in his presence to get to get to know yes. what he's called you to do in the earth yes okay thank you i never related that but i got it thank you so much oh, awesome. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really so good, Apostle, that you're bringing these scriptures out because you're absolutely right, Minister mm -hmm. McGee. We never thought of it that way. And you know, they would say, you know, most of the times, I think there may be another translation or even another scripture that does say if a man doesn't work, mm -hmm. he doesn't eat. Mm -hmm. But you see how that is, that it was always said about a man, right? But yeah. in my, my household, my daddy and mom was like, you don't work, you don't eat. <laughs> it was yeah. just, it, yeah. didn't, it was yeah. across the board, right? Yeah. So if you don't go and you don't help to peel the potatoes, don't be looking yeah, around yeah. talking about, oh, that potato salad looks good. You know, you you go, oh, oh, I don't really feel like peeling those sweet potatoes. Well, when the sweet potato pie come, you sit on the sidelines, you know? <laughs> and so that that's how, yeah. you know, my parents were yeah. like that. In the natural, how much more does Yahweh expect us to put forth the effort that's right. to eat of his word? Mm -hmm. Yeshua said, Man, people started looking at him strange. You know, he said, if you don't eat of my body and drink of my blood, you have no part in me. They like, hold up a minute. And no this cannibal. is what they was. Yeah, they were not cannibals, but this is what he was talking about. Are you willing to put in the time? Are you willing to put in mm -hmm. the effort to have a relationship with me so that I can show you revelation of my word? Yeah. Yes. So thank you so much for the question. It was a great question. Amen. Come on. Elder Mitchell also had a question or comment. Well, I was on the same uh, line with Sister Marguerite in the fact of uh, looking at it uh, from a, from the same physical aspect, but y'all yeah, broke the rest of it down in the spiritual part. But even when you think about Matthew 7, you know, the fact that they were able to work the giftings mm -hmm. and, and all that is, in, that is in, embedded in us, all the gifts. Mm -hmm. to be able to to do and to do the works mm -hmm. and yet and still if we're doing the works with that sense of lawlessness not mm -hmm. having any love any compassion mm -hmm. you know all of those things still you know make you be of, of no no use to the father exactly mm -hmm. exactly so that, that, that was just the, the point but yeah the same thing i thought about all the physical too and you know not how you not even breaking out knowing that the, the word is the food mm -hmm. exactly if you don't study how mm -hmm. are you going to get the nourishment that you need because you know the word is going to bring all the nourishment that you do need to, to live right. exactly you know you sure this is really good elder mitchell because you know Yeshua said my meat and my drink what is it y'all 
It's to do the will of the Father. It's that's to work right. the works. It's the works. That's that's my meat, and my drink. That's what I I'm getting full from. Is doing the will of the Father. But Elder Mitchell, if we don't do it with love and compassion, when Elohim God is love, then we tie His hands on how effective He can move <laughs> through us. Mm-hmm. And I I used to. This is one of the things that I why I resisted. Um, the call to uh, a prophet because uh, a prophet is because uh, a prophet told me that um, when I, I did, I, I, I confronted her. She was trying to give me a word. And my pushback was, well, why you got to say it so ugly? Is Yahweh speaking to me like this? Is he saying, if he's saying it like that to me, I'm just going to accept it and I'm going to take the correction. But is he really like, you know, somebody put a little extra stank on it. And you're like, that ain't he. Is that really Yahweh talking to me? Or you just, well, you know what I'm saying. They got that little attitude. What's your motive to doing that? Is this something you wanted to tell me personally? Or is Yahweh really saying this? And when I confronted her, she said, well, all I can do is just be a prophet. And this is just the way it comes out. And I said, I'm, I, I, I said, I don't mean any harm. But if Yahweh, when Yahweh speaks to me in secret places, even in his correction, I sense such a love That's right. coming behind it. He may tap them legs. He That's might, right. he might have to right. tap me real good yeah. about what I, but he is then saying, now Marcelia, I did that because I don't want to, I don't want to say depart from me. Yeah. You see, so mm-hmm. we, we make his word of no effect. If we're trying to use our own motive, well, I, that's just the way. And and that's how another one told me. That's just the way I talk. I said, well, uh, you might need to go back and see. You know, if listen, do, the first the, get, do the first works over. Because the greatest of these, though I speak, come on, y'all. Yes. You know, the greatest of these is love. <laughs> though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels. And that, like, don't don't come at people doing that. You could destroy somebody's life mm-hmm. coming at them with some kind of vengeance or some kind of, oh, it's got to sound like this. It needs to sound like Yah. It needs mm-hmm. to sound. So, yes, it, it makes his word and the works that we're supposed to be doing of no effect if we try to put out our, our, I'll put it like this, Apostle Lev, my little extra thing. If we put our own spin on it. Yes. yes. You know, we, we can't put our, you can't spin Yahweh's words and his works. You have to do it like he says to do it. So thank you for your question and your comments, because this is really good job, because sometimes I think people just think I'm doing the work, so that should be good enough. But how we do it, as Apostle pointed out tonight, is so important. Apostle Dandy. Hey, um, two things I want to say. One Sometimes when you're working in the world, it is difficult to remember that you are working for Yahweh because you really have yeah. some demons that turn up. Listen. Aggravate you down to your toenails. Listen. So serious. <laughs> like your toenails be crying. Like, be crying. <laughs> you know, and, and, and I've found that a lot recently. And I'm I'm noticing more and more that I'm hearing um, more and more believers saying I'm finding it hard to work in the workplace Mm -hmm. because it's almost as if we're being targeted. Yes. And so as I was thinking about this and thinking about this scripture from Matthew 7, 21 to 23, this is the picture that Holy Spirit gave me. He said, you know, they say, but, you know, I prophesied in your name. I cast out demons in your name and done many mighty works in your name. Mm -hmm. And this is what he said. He said, a lot of companies subcontract their work. Mm -hmm. And in order for them to subcontract their work, they have to be able to carry out the work exactly the way they would do it. But the thing is, they have no real obligation Mm -hmm. to that company. Mm -hmm. Right? And it reminded me of um, a minister that shared how he went to heaven and he died and he went to heaven. Like this actually happened. And he's having a conversation with Yeshua and Yeshua was like, you know, 
<laughs> heaven is not for you. He's like, well, what happened? I did all that you said. I fed the poor. I went and visited people in, in the jails. Mm -hmm. You know, I healed the sick. I saw miracles. I did everything. I called you, Lord. And he looked at him and said, yeah, you, call me, you sure called me, Lord. But I was never Lord of your life. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's like subcontracting for an employ for a company. You can say that, oh, I'm I'm a subcontractor, but there's no real commitment to say you're really my employer. Mm -hmm. You know, so I I just wanted to share that because who we I mean working out there in the world it is we really have to be mindful yes and ask holy spirit and that you know i can borrow everybody's hands and feet and put yes, them all up there just now put them up there put them up there put them up for me please <laughs> because there are some days that you want to say okay holy spirit can i just forget for a moment and then we'll talk later <laughs> Oh my goodness! I just start so, pack. Just, just get your your computers. Look, I'm I'm gone. I just came to this. <laughs> yeah, but Apostle, thank you so much for that reminder because you know it's probably a reminder that we need every day. You know, to just put it somewhere that we can see it. I must work the works, but I must work the works in a way that is pleasing to Yahweh as if I'm working it on to him. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, Apostle Thank you. Dandy. I, I think, Apostle, this is so good because, and it's going to get worse, y'all. Let's not, most definitely. let's not act like we don't know that in the marketplace, it's going to get rougher and rougher and rougher as the day gets darker and darker and darker. This is how it's going to be. But guess what? Praise Yahweh for his grace is sufficient. That's right. Let me put this hand up. So y'all, his grace is sufficient to us, y'all. His grace is sufficient. And this is why one of the things, as Apostle Dan, as you were saying, that Holy Spirit said, this is why I keep pressing on you, you all for your own businesses, pressing on you all to do what you need to do, pressing on you all to have your own own uh gardens yeah. when i see our spiritual children exchanging seeds and doing these things and sprouts and everything yahweh is trust me y'all yahweh is going to reward us for being faithful to that because at some point we're going to need to know how to do these things and we can't be behind in yeah. understanding what is necessary because it's necessary for us to work the works Amen. apostle it is. This was so good. You can tell you stirred me up, right? Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> this is really, it's, it's such a good word because as Apostle Dandy said, sometimes you need that reminder, friendly reminder. You, I, I'm working for this employer, but really I'm working for Yahweh. Yahweh is always my employer. He's always my master, my Lord, my savior, my master. And Apostle, thank you for continuing to remind us that because I think sometimes with mouth flowers, with mouth service, with eye service that was so good, mm -hmm. with eye service only when certain people are watching, when the pastors are watching, or when other believers are watching, or when it's just like when people, and y'all please don't, don't take this the wrong way when I say this, some things y'all will notice that we will not post on social media. We're not telling you not to post. I'm just saying that we will not do that because of the nature of what it is that we're doing. And you have to be cognizant of that. Sometimes Holy Spirit will say, mm -mm, don't do that. As much as you want people to know what it is that you're doing in the ministry, there have been things that we've had to even tell the congregation, yes, we are doing things, but we're not publicizing it because Yahweh said, uh-uh, that, that part is not for, for uh, mass consumption or public consumption. Some things are things that he's told us to do and we just need to honor what he said to do. And so you have to be mindful of that. You pray and obey what Yahweh is saying. Okay. All right. Listen, we have others who are waiting to share. We still have a few minutes. Uh, Teacher Patterson and Apostle Wells, let's start with Teacher Patterson. Thank you. Great <clears throat> Excuse me. Great evening, everyone. Great lesson tonight. Thank you, Apostle <clears throat> Anderson, for this 
uh, teaching. So I got stuck, well, not stuck, but I got um, focused in back at Colossians 2, I'm, I'm sorry, Colossians 3, <clears throat> where it talks about whatever you do, do it heartily as to the master and not to men. And so I was thinking, well, it goes along with the verse before it in sincerity of heart. So heartily must be, you know, in that vein. Yeah. <laughs> and But um, I was led to look it up. And so I know it's the Holy Spirit because <laughs> it's correct. It does have it, it can do with the heart, but it's not complete. <laughs> All right. Come on. And so it's um, G 1537. It says it denotes the origin, denoting origin, the point where the action or the motion proceeds. Mm -hmm. So if Yahweh is giving the instructions, if Yahweh is telling us to work that work, then <clears throat> that's that's heartily. But not to say that sometimes the enemy provokes us to do things. And even our flesh can provoke us to do things. It's still that's still all part of heartily. It's mm -hmm. it's whatever the source is. So we have to be careful what where where where, where is the source of mm -hmm. our works? What is where are our um not just the assignment, but but even like you're saying, the the how we do it, how we go about mm -hmm. fulfilling it. Um, and it does include, you know, with hard, with, with the hard, with zest, with gusto, enthusiastic, some of the dictionaries say, but, mm -hmm. um, it, it has also, we have to be, uh, we should be watchful that our, um, you know, the source, where, where is this coming from? Why are you telling That's me to... Reason to do this. Mm -hmm. And it may be a good thing. It may not be a bad thing, of course, mm -hmm. but it could also not be Yahweh. It could be, it could be our flesh trying to get some brownie points or whatever, mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever the different reasonings that we come up with. Yeah. That's all. That's really good teacher Patterson. And I think sometimes we don't realize that if we were in a natural situation, and somebody just walked up to us and gave us a paper and said, go do this. Now, I'm going to speak for Marcelia Renee. I'm not doing it until I know who's, who, where did this paper come from? Who sent this paper? Can I, I need to meet them. Like, I'm not just going to do it, right? Mm -hmm. So the same thing with working the works, it's okay to ask the questions. Now, Father, Please give me an understanding of why you would tell me to do this. When you start going down that path, he will answer us. That's the work there. That is where we need to understand what Yahweh is telling us to do. And then as we go down that path, we'll be able to discern if yeah. it was really him. We got to be willing to put in that work. All right. We got a few more minutes. Thank you so much, Teacher Patterson. Apostle Wells. I greet you all in the name of our Father, and I am so grateful, Apostle, that you allowed Yahweh to use you, as you always do. I thank and praise our Father for you. Years ago, when I was much younger, they used to sing a song, May the Works I've Done Speak for Me. Speak for me, yeah. And you know, you don't have to wait until you're resting in your grave <laughs> for the works to speak for you. It's That's true. right. That's right. When you allow, there's a saying that I tell my people, to thine own self be true. Mm -hmm. If you can be honest with yourself, you can be honest with others, mm -hmm. which means that whatever you do is going to speak for you. That's right. And I also remind people, only what's done for Hamashiach will last. That's right. Nothing else matters. Yes. Since I've been back in the found that my mother used to say your name will go further than you ever will go riding or walking. Come on. I like that. The other day, another day, one of the pastors, he told me, he said, uh, Connie Jenkins said to tell you hello and 
Oh, she he said she was just so excited when she heard your name. And I said, he said, you, you know kind of think I said, yes, sir, I do. I said, uh, and he said, several of those people at that church have asked about you. Mm-hmm. I can't ask about me unless you tell them about me because they don't even know I'm here, to my knowledge. And so I said, uh, I appreciate that. I said, thank you so very much, uh, Pastor, for letting me know. If you do it as unto our Father, the works that you do, men know. And when I say men, women, everybody knows Mm -hmm. if you're doing it as unto him. And I'm so grateful for this series, these 22 installments, because every one of them produce much fruit. Thank you, Father. And I'm so grateful to have an opportunity to hear and receive what the Father is saying in these last and evil days, because it is, it's getting so much darker, but our lights must continue to shine with the work that we do. Thank you. Amen. Thank Thank you, you. Apostle. Thank you, Apostle. Great to hear from you. Yes. Yes. Always, always a blessing. Bless you, bless you, bless you, Apostle Wells. Y'all, this has been a powerful time together. We're so grateful for our apostle for this word and thank you all for your engagement Mm -hmm. and and feedback and questions and comments. And we agree, Apostle Wells, you know, I was thinking that same thing when you said, um, uh, let my work speak for me. I remember that song and only what you do for Messiah will last. Only what you do for him will be counted at the end, y'all. That's what the scripture tells us that only what we do for him Mm -hmm. is going to follow us into eternity for good for us, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So this is why it's imperative. The other things will follow us, but if it's not good things and, and the right things, then remember that there are consequences for that. And it's not for us to be in fear. It's for us to be in reverence to Yah in doing it his way. So um, even as Apostle Wells was talking about the person who was saying that uh, someone was glad to hear their name, when your name is mentioned, what does it evoke in people? I'm not just, I'm not talking about people who mean evil towards you. I'm just talking about people just in general. Have you lived your life and are you living your life that when your name is spoken and people say, oh yes, I." I want to work with this person. I want to do, you know, and, and that's what we should be striving for as far as, mm-hmm. as unto Yahweh. And so thank you, Apostle. This was, it, it truly was life-changing. We really appreciate you for this word. All right, y'all, we're going to get ready to pray. Okay, you want me to pray? All right, come on, let's go to the Father in prayer. Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for the release of the word from Apostle Anderson. Thank you for the power in which he released the word, the father, the confidence in you and what you were speaking. Thank you for his leadership. Thank you for him releasing the word the way you said to to release it. Father, I know personally because I know him behind closed doors, how much he is concerned about the people of Yah going forth and what you have said for us to go forth in. So Father, even that love and concern that he has, as well as the correction that you've extended to us and you've given us the grace to Father repent and return to you. Father, you've given us favor to do that. So Father, we wanna take full advantage of that and leverage what you've made available to us, Father. Let us not be slothful in our repentance to you, but may we go forth and be everything that you've called us to be in these last and evil days, Father. We repent and we return to to you, Father. So we bless you, Father, and we honor you. We glorify your name, and we ask you, Father, to be in the midst of us, Father, to go forth, go before us, and let your glory be our real guard, Father. We cast down and cast out anything that is not like you, Father, anything that tries to distract us, anything that tries to come against us, anything that tries to attack us, Father. We thank you that your word prevails, your blood prevails, your power prevails above all, Father. You are sovereign, and we thank you for your word being sovereign over our lives. May we not be distracted in this hour, but may we work the works of you who sent us while it's day. Night is surely coming when no man can work. 
It is indeed in the matchless and the holy, the unbeatable, the incomparable name of Yeshua Hamashiach. We pray. Amen and bless Amen. Yahweh. Amen. Come on, let's you can Amen. unmute and and listen. Give sow your seed, sow into what Yahweh is doing in your life, and expect a harvest from Yah for what He wants to do in your life. We love you to life. Have a wonderful and blessed evening. They're going to stop the recording so that you can uh, go ahead and greet your brothers and sisters in Yah.